This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba C855D laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite C855D laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure that it's safe to work on, and that means removing all sources of power, including the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over. Right above the ladder, battery, there's two levers. You slide both of them out, and you tilt the battery up, and you remove it, and the laptop is now safe to work on. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop computer. There's a label on the bottom that says Toshiba, and the first line under it says Toshi Satellite C855D S5205. So you just need the C855D number, and the same procedure will work for the C855 laptop without the D. Once we remove the battery, we look at the screen assembly. In order to get to the screen, we need to remove the screen bezel, and that's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom, and they're be hiding behind some plastic screw covers, which we need to remove. Before we do that, we're going to go over the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We have a PH00 electronics screwdriver. That's a smaller screwdriver for smaller screws. A 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and that's to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate cables. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade, and that's to remove the plastic screw covers. And that's where we're going to start first. So we use our exact knife to remove the screw covers. And I like to put them right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them. One, two, three, and four. Once we do that, we remove the four screws. And we use our PH1 electronics screwdriver. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together again. So that's four screws. Once we do that, we are ready to snap the screen bezel off. And the way we do that is put our fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds, and it comes off. So like this, we make our way around the screen. And if he gets stuck at any place, come back to that place later on. And in the corners, it helps if you push up and outwards towards you. That helps to release the corners better. So we keep going around and do the same thing on the bottom also. And for the hinge covers, we use our 2mm flathead screwdriver to help pry them up. And then we remove the screen bezel and we put it to the side. Once we remove the screen bezel, we take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted on some metal mounting brackets with screws on the side. So we have to remove three screws on each side. So let's take a look. In order to access the screws, you have to tilt the screen a little bit forward from the screen assembly, but we still can't get to the bottom screw. And the trick we use for that is there's two screws on the bottom, one on each side. They're holding the hinges, the hinge covers and the brackets to the back of the screen assembly. So we loosen those screws maybe two or three turns, and now let us tilt the screen forward a little bit more and that's just enough for us to reach the bottom screw so that's what we do first 
we use our PH00 screwdriver to remove the bottom screw because it's easier to reach in there with that screwdriver. And then next, we switch back to the PH1 screwdriver and remove the other screws as we go along. Three on each side. And when you do this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all, this, all the screws, it doesn't just fall forward on you. So we use our PH00 screwdriver again to remove the bottom screw one more time. And we use our metal tweezers to grab this one out. It's a little bit stuck in there. So we grab this one out like so. And we keep moving along. Two and three. Once we remove all six screws, we gently tilt the screen forward. Make sure it's not getting stuck on anything. And then we take a look at the screen. For this type of screen, it only has one connector on the bottom. And we just need to remove the connector to remove the screen. In order to remove the connector, there's adhe adhesive on the back of the video cable. So we gently lift up the video cable to lift up the adhesive. And there's adhesive on the top of the connector. And we use our X-Acto knife to lift up the tape on top of the connector. And once we do that, we pull the connector out like so, and the screen is free. Uh, before we go any further, we're going to show you how to reconnect the connector. When you slide the connector in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up look of what a properly connected connection should look like. It should look like this. So pause the video right there, and that's what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's pull the screen connector out again. Let's take a look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. And as of late 2012, it's the most common screen that goes into laptops. So let's take a look at the part number. The part number that you're looking at or that you'll need to look for is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. Now when you get your screen in, most likely it will not be the same part number, but the screen will look exactly the same because five or six different manufacturers make the exact same screen. You can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is free email technical support. If you get stuck in any place, um, send us email and we'll help you walk through it. We have a two-year warranty on our screen, so if there's anything wrong during the two years, we'll replace it. We'll send you another screen at no charge. And also, you get this exact same toolkit that I use in this video for free with the screen. This toolkit will come for free with the screen. And finally, we ship from warehouses both on the East Coast and the West Coast. So even if you order ground shipping, it would take three days or less for your screen to arrive. And if you live outside of the United States, uh, you can order from us and we can ship to most countries. To order from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to the right screen to buy it online, and then just go through the regular checkout procedure. Once you do get your new screen in, connect it as I showed you, mount it on the metal mounting brackets, put the three screws in on each side. Very important, don't forget to tighten the screws at the bottom when you're done. Snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom, and put the screw covers in, and you should be finished. Okay, and that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.